The Indigo Ice Picks placed second in the finals last season. Power Rocket really stepped up to the plate, showing not only survivability, but some offensive power as well. Power Rocket takes that Chevelle to town. Skull Crusher was the other standout on the team with an impressive performance. That helped Power Rocket become one of the final two cars left in the match. But the Copperhead's Chevy 1500 snatched a second championship win out of the grasp of the Indigo Ice Picks. And doesn't roll over! Now they face nine other teams hungry to make it to the finals, including the ranked six Massive Transit and the ranked four People's Front of Camino. It's gonna be a vicious fight. Let's take a look at our teams. The rank 1290s Nightfire scored first place in their qualifier. The Alabaster Aces have been around the block and they want back in the finals. The Blue Blockers are a brand new team with something to prove. Hot Racers scored first place in their qualifier. Indigo Ice Picks got to replace one car and they have chosen to replace Forward Force with Exelium. Massive Transit had an impressive four vehicles left in their qualifier, and that's a big reason that they're ranked six. Mr. Maroon have been here since the beginning of the joust, and they're here to play. People's Front of Camino, sponsored by Chicken Rings Onion Wings. They're ranked four because they lasted for a long time in their qualifier. Super Crashers may be ranked 23, but Blue Shark is always a car to watch out for. The Bandits are a team of low-to-the-ground wide cars sponsored by Chicken Rings Onion Wings. Expect to see some of the new bonus actions in this match. Four of the teams in the match have a bonus action to use. Which one and when to use it? Well, that's up to them. Evil Weevil officials have decided to run a safety car down the track just to make sure that the track is clear and ready for disaster. The Track Buffer Evil Weevil, of course, sponsored by Track Buffer LLC. Looks like the track is safe and it's time to joust. Round one, we've got 50 cars to go down the track. LB Super Silhouette Nissan Silvia, sponsored by DYW Production Labs, heading down first. The running order is up, completely random. What order the teams go down, but the teams get to decide when to send their cars down. Up first for the Super Crashers, the Pontiac Firebird, sponsored by Beaks Busted Barn Finds. Pontiac Firebird gets that line started up front. Blue is starting off with the Dimashini Veloce, sponsored by Sicken. The Veloce pops the Firebird up in the air. The rear slides off the track, and it's in a tough position, especially now that Holland Class is coming down for Massive Transit, sponsored by Chome. Holland Class slams into the line, clears the track completely. The Firebird flips over. A nice recovery by the Sylvia, and the Veloce keeps it level. 64 Chevy Impala for the Bandits, sponsored by Chorgoth the Infinite Horror. Nice hit by the Impala, takes down the Veloce, pushes Holland Class off the track. That was a solid hit and a nice takedown. BMW 733 for Mr. Maroon, sponsored by the Miskatonic Automotive Club. The BMW slides into the back of the Impala. Not a whole lot of action on the hit, but Holland Class slides off to safety. There's a bit of a ramp on that trailer. We'll see if it's effective this time. Nobody likes a good ramp more than Rev Rod for the Ice Picks, sponsored by Brendan Walsh. Rev Rod flies off the ramp, flips over a couple of times, bounces on top of the cars, makes it to a six, and then flops around a little bit. Rev Rod excels when it is flying through the air. Fantastic recovery. 59 El Camino for the People's Front, sponsored by Chicken Rings Onion Wings. The El Camino takes that jump and has just as good of luck as the Rev Rod flipping around and landing it, attaining a height of six on the way as well, and then somehow flipping over and making a recovery. Impressive. The Camino was so heavy though, the trailer gate is flipped up now. No more ramp. Cookies riding down in the Mustang Mach 3 for 90s Nightfire, sponsored by Chorgoth. Ooh. Ah. Cookie goes spinning out of the Mustang. The Mustang knocks that trailer off the BMW. BMW is still alive though. Cookie appears to be alive as well, maybe napping at this point. Good hit by the Mustang. Alabaster sending down Dune Crusher, sponsored by Willful Fiber Art. Dune Crusher, ooh, a tough hit right there in the back of the Mustang. Mustang goes sideways, Dune Crusher is upside down, but it might just be playing possum. Lancia Stratos Group 5, sponsored by Chicken Rings on Wings for the Hot Racers. 
The Lancia knocks Dune Crusher way off to the side, over to the tires, and the Dune Crusher makes a great recovery, as is tradition for that vehicle. The Dodge Charger Mark III for Super Crasher is sponsored by Hey Hey's Hatchback Hangar. Dodge takes down the Mustang Mach 3, a force transferred through the Lancia, and that car is upside down. Lancia is still steady. 90 Acura NSX, sponsored by Beaks Busted Barn Finds. The Acura takes down the Dodge and the Lancia Stratos. Wow, what a hit, a double takedown. Impressive job there. Just about cleared the track. That's not even that big of a car. Speaking of track clearing, it's the Ford C800, sponsored by Regal Radio. 99 gram punch knocks the Acura off the track and it flips over upside down. The Ford only managing to get that car off. The Impala somehow managing to stay on the track despite all these hits. 73 Cadillac Coupe DeVille, sponsored by Reaper EOD. Big knock to the back of the Ford from the Coupe DeVille, but it keeps on the track and steady. No eliminations on that hit. Next up, the Nissan Titan, sponsored by Sean's Toy Room. The Cadillac launches the Coupe de Ville into the back of the Ford and it gets hung up. Titan tries to escape the track, can't quite get out of there. Sonic for the Indigo Ice Pick, sponsored by Farty Marty. Sonic knocks the Titan off sideways, but then the Coupe de Ville comes back and saves it as it slides off the track to relative safety. 71 El Camino, sponsored by Chicken Rings, Onion Wing. The El Camino slams Sonic underneath the Ford. Bit of a light back on that truck, and it could be in trouble here. Mr. Bean's gonna ride down in the Corvette Stingray 3 for Nightfire, sponsored by Stump's Tree Farm. The Corvette pushes into the line. Sonic continues to go underneath. The Ford is turning over. Sonic even managing to get underneath the Impala up front. Mr. Bean went for a little tumble. I'm sure he'll recover shortly. Another Corvette for Alabaster Aces this time, sponsored by Jedi. Corvette on Corvette action as the Nightfire Corvette is forced up on the top of the line. And we've got a real traffic jam forming down there. A lot of cars tussling for position. Nissan Maxima Drift Car sponsored by Emo Dingo. Some more jostling, but nobody really in danger yet. The Nightfire Corvette is mostly safe, it looks like. Chevy Pro Stalker sponsored by DYW Production Labs. The stalker shovels the drift car off the track and the car flips over upside down, eliminated. Nice takedown there by the stalker. Arrow lift now for blue blockers, sponsored by Emo Dingo. 91 gram slam and it looks like it was enough to finally get that Ford C800 over sideways. It might not stay like that, but if it does, it looks like it's gonna be out. Taking a quick scan of the field, we're about halfway through the lineup. Got a bunch of eliminations it looks like. Here comes Speed Blaster, won the finals for Massive Transit a couple seasons ago, sponsored by Chicken Rings Onion Wings. Speed Blaster removes the flatbed from Aerolift, completely knocking it free. A big hit, but Aerolift was protected by the impact, by the flatbed at least. And it looks like we got a Camino going over up top. Black Beauty for the Bandits, sponsored by DYW Production Labs. Black Beauty Ram Speed Blaster, a little settling down towards the front, but nothing major. Volvo 240 Drift Wagon, sponsored by Sicken. Solid whack by the drift wagon, and the Camino recovers! It almost certainly looked like that Camino was doomed, and yet somehow it recovers after that hit. The line is getting solid. Skull Crusher for the Ice Pick, sponsored by Ellis Wardenberger. Skull Crusher hits the solid line, and there's nowhere to go, and it goes curbside. 65 El Camino SS, sponsored by G Zeus. The El Camino snapped Skull Crusher off the track, but with a quick flip, Skull Crusher back in action. Nice recovery there. Oldsmobile Aerotech, sponsored by PriceX Private Parts. The Aerotech glides underneath the 65 El Camino. Camino goes up, falls back, makes a nice recovery, almost off the track completely. Forklift driven by a Klingon for the Aces, sponsored by Hendrika's Heavy Hauling. Forklift knocks the Aerotech skyward. The Aerotech flips around, cannot make a recovery. Not enough agility. Forklift is curbside, though. The LBER 34 Super Silhouette Nissan Skyline, sponsored by Mark the Music Lover. 
The Skyline boots Forklift onto the back of Speed Blaster and it is sideways. Forklift had a vicious qualifier where it did a lot of damage this time though, manhandled by that Skyline. Cement truck for the crashers, sponsored by Chicken Rings Onion Wings. Cement truck hits a very solid line, and the drift wagon buckles just enough for the Skyline to start getting under it. The Volkswagen IDR, sponsored by Sloss Automotive Sachet and Buffet. The IDR does some serious damage here, knocks the drift wagon off, knocks forklift off. Forklift does not make a recovery, and the cement truck also gets eliminated on that hit, a double takedown. This ought to shake the line up a little bit. 107 gram Aero Blast, sponsored by Sid from Cybertron. Aero Blast blows through the line of cars and takes itself out on the way, somehow getting the IDR up to a height of six before it comes down, upside down, cannot make a recovery. Wow, a devastating hit. The IDR never stood a chance, but now Aero Blaster also eliminated. 72 Mercedes Benz, sponsored by the Miskatonic Automotive Club. The Mercedes-Benz pushes Skyline forward, knocks Black Beauty, its teammate, off the track to safety and manages to stay locked in. Nissan Silvia S14, sponsored by Dr. Gonzo. The line on the track has firmed up yet again and the Silvia locks it down. The rookie Exilium up for the ice picks now, sponsored by Pick Your Sticker. Come on down to Pick Your Sticker and pick yourself a sticker, mister. Exilium nowhere to go and slots in behind the Sylvia. Man, this line is tight. Something could really mess this up though. Perhaps the 67 El Camino will provide the 106 grams of damage needed. Sponsored by Chicken Rings Onion Wings. The El Camino pops Exilium off the track and wow, the rookie blows it upside down. Not even a chance of recovery there. Wow, not looking like a great pick for the ice picks. The BMW 850i sponsored by Jedi. The BMW takes a shot at the trailer on that Camino, but that thing is locked in there nice and tight. Shadow Jet will certainly loosen things up, sponsored by Bentley's Brakes and Bumpers. Shadow Jet gets underneath the BMW, knocks it just about fully off the track. BMW, though, keeps it steady. The Mercedes-Benz is up for the Hot Racers. However, the Hot Racers have decided to call an end of the line and send the Mercedes-Benz to the end of the line. The Hot Racers not liking what they're seeing on the track and they have decided to invoke their one bonus action, which will allow that Mercedes-Benz to go dead last in this round. So now Blue Shark is up for Super Crashers, sponsored by Judy Collins. Oh man, it looks like Hot Racers might have made a good choice. Blue Shark takes a rough bounce off the back of Shadow Jet. Shadow Jet getting underneath that trailer, but now Blue Shark is out. Looks like that gamble probably paid off. Honda Civic Custom, sponsored by Hendrika's Heavy Hauling. Honda Civic pushes Shadow Jet under the Camino, and the Camino topples over upside down. Not enough force to make it all the way around, and that is an elimination of a vehicle that Camino relied upon in their qualifier. Things are about to get shook up. 151 gram trash basher, sponsored by Sicken. Oh, a big pounding hit from Trash Basher. So much going on here. The Honda Civic gets thrown up to the front almost of the track. And the Civic looks like it finishes off one of Massive Transit's own vehicles. And you can see here the BMW just goes spinning all over the place but makes a recovery. Shadow Jet gets underneath the Sylvia and the Sylvia is in jeopardy. Whew, boy, the action is heating up. 64 Continental now for the Bandits, sponsored by Sicken. Continental pushes into Trash Basher. There's really not anywhere to go, and that big thing on the side of Trash Basher starts to push the cars that are upside down around. Nissan Skyline for Maroon, sponsored by Hendrika's Heavy Hauling. The Skyline slams into the line. There's just nowhere to go. This line is going way back. And here comes Power Rocket, sponsored also by Hendrika's Heavy Hauling. Power Rocket cannot get under that skyline and bounces back to the bottom of the hill. Things start to get tricky when the cars get backed up this far. Oh wow, here comes a long vehicle for the Camino. 65 El Camino, sponsored by Miskatonic. The Camino and trailer managed to knock Power Rocket off the track, but Power Rocket makes a very adept recovery. Indigo Ice Picks thanking their lucky stars it didn't get hung up in any weird way. 
Race Mate 308, sponsored by Hey Hey's Hatchback Hanger. Race Mate gets underneath the Camino's trailer, directly underneath that heavy trailer. And now that Camino is balanced in a weird way. Ford RS 200, sponsored by Emo Dingo. The Ford knocks Race Mate underneath the Camino completely. The Camino flips over upside down. Another vehicle eliminated for the number four ranked El Caminos. Their two best vehicles eliminated. And it does look a bit safer for the Mercedes-Benz to come down here, sponsored by Jason's Bits Boys. The Benz sinks into the line, does not get any eliminations. Race Bait does a nice job of recovering. And the Skyline stays alive, and that is gonna end round one. Boy, it sure got climactic there at the end, but what a mess. 19 eliminations all told. Almost no teams making it out of this round unscathed. Let's take a look at the aftermath. The big story here, the Bandits, the only team to not lose a single car in that round. The Super Crashers getting hit the hardest with four losses. Hot Racers and Massive Transit lost two, and Blue Blockers lost three. Mr. Maroon, Camino, and 90s Nightfire each lost two. Indigo Ice Picks and Alabaster Aces looking pretty good right now with only one loss. We're gonna drop straight into round two, starting off with the Bandits who had a fantastic round one. The running order is up, the Impala is in place, and now Alabaster Ace's favorite vehicle to start off with, the Dune Crusher, and that's the reason they love to start off with that thing. It's very consistent at getting off the track and landing upright. Sonic takes a shot at that Impala, but that thing is firmly embedded in the track. Wow, what a hit from the Titan, somehow knocking the front end of Sonic up in the air, and it bounces off the Impala and lands upside down. That's gonna be an elimination there for the Ice Picks. Hot Racers send down the Super Silhouette, and it bounces off the Titan and flips over into Elimination Land. Hot Racers having used their bonus action, so no way to send that car to the back of the line. Corvette Stingray and Mr. Bean hop on top of the Titan. That could be a bad position. And now El Camino, another team with a bonus action, have decided to try out the car swap. This will allow them to bring back one of their eliminated vehicles and they're gonna swap out this Camino with the trailer. Probably a good plan as it knocks the Nightfire over and upside down and crushes Mr. Bean. Camino may be assuming that that vehicle has more of a chance of surviving when it's not weighed back down on the track. Now Holland Class immediately tests their decision to put this Camino back in. So far, it's balancing and staying on the track. But wow, Camino having a tough time of it right now. The Honda Civic gets under Holland Class. Holland Class, nice balance though, and starts to try to get off the track, keeping it steady and safe. The last car for the Super Crashers, the Stalker. A nice hit right there, takes down the Civic. Holland Class escapes. The Stalker can't quite get off the track after that hit, and it is in a vulnerable position. Ooh, what a hit from the Cadillac Coupe de Ville, sending the Civic skyward all the way over into the junkyard. The Stalker escapes successfully, and it looks like the Camino might just have gotten out of that pickle it was in. The Corvette C8 locks it in, a nice tight hit. The line holds on a hit from Skull Crusher. Oh boy, we're backing down even farther now. The Skyline, one more car back. Ooh, a powerful hit from the Nissan Skyline and it breaks something off of the other Skyline. Looks like maybe the muffler. The low front of the Super Silhouette breaking it free. The BMW 850 sends the Nissan Skyline sprawling. It manages to keep its balance. 65 El Camino bounces into the line. The BMW goes curbside and Skull Crusher in trouble now from that other skyline. A massive hit as usual from Trash Basher and cars are flying all over the place. And this is unbelievable. Not a single car eliminated on that hit. What a testament to the quality of the vehicles on the track right now. Skull Crusher particularly getting tossed around but making a recovery. 
Arrow lift sends flatbed piles into Trash Basher, ends up pushing the 65L Camino over, and maybe it's done. Trash Basher in a weird position where it's mostly off the track. I don't know exactly what is going on there. 72 Mercedes Benz piles into the line, sort of a gentle hit, and it's locked in. Ford RS200 joins the line of cars. Power Rocket slams into the Ford, but can't get under it. They're going back to the bottom of the hill all over again. The BMW 733 Sands trailer piles in. The Ford starts to go up on the back of the Mercedes Benz, and the BMW is up on the back of Power Rocket. Ooh, a nice hit by the AMG. The Ford and the BMW tossed around and upside down. Power Rocket making a nice recovery as usual. Race bait hurls itself into the Mercedes and the BMW gets completely thrown off the track, stays upside down. 71 El Camino joins the fray. Race bait almost gets underneath the AMG, but doesn't manage to do it. Speed Blaster, wow, not that much damage on that hit. The effect of the big rigs on massive transit has been dulled a little bit in this round. They have not gotten the eliminations, although both those Mercedes could be in trouble. Oh, and Black Beauty finishes off its teammate, the Mercedes Benz, not on purpose, of course, but what are you gonna do? That will be the first elimination for the bandits. And as I speak, there's the second elimination for the Bandits. Shadow Jet taking its toll. Getting underneath Speed Blaster now, too. Speed Blaster could be in trouble. Revrod tries to get Shadow Jet under, but can't quite get Speed Blaster up enough. Speed Blaster very elusive in these situations. And Revrod tries to escape the track. Final car of the round, the 64 Continental slams into the line and not gonna get any eliminations on that hit, but also did not eliminate itself on the back of Shadow Jet. Nine eliminations in that round. No teams eliminated yet. And we're gonna take a quick measurement on one of the Caminos. Looks like it's below the 45 degree angle, and so far that swap is paying off for the El Caminos. So just nine eliminations on the round, and let's take a look at the aftermath. Super Crashers stay alive, Blue Blockers fall to one, Hot Racers down to two, Massive Transit didn't lose a vehicle, and the Bandits lost two down to three. No more teams with four left alive as each team on this page lost one car. Alabaster and Ice Picks still at three, Mr. Maroon, Camino, and 90s Nightfire at two. All 10 teams still have a chance to make it to the finals. Three of them will be going, seven won't. Tune in next time on Junkyard Joust to find out who it's gonna be. And then two weeks from now, the Apocalypse Wildcard Match. Thank you to all my patrons for supporting this show. I couldn't do it without you. And thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time on the Joust.